Patterns really are everywhere, especially in art. Today, we are going to take a close look at a painting done by Diego Rivera, who was married to Frida Kahlo. He, oh, excuse me, he painted ginormous, huge murals all over the world and especially in Mexico. This is just part of a painting of his, and it is called The Great City of Tenochtitlan, and it is in the Palacio Nacional in Mexico City. And when we look at this painting, we sure can see a lot of patterns. Take a quiet look. Just looking at the necklace on this woman, we can see a pattern, red, white, red, white, red, white. And we see a pattern going down too. There's a striped pattern on her dress. Is there anywhere else you see patterns? If we look over here, we see pattern. We see vertical and horizontal lines to create pattern. And even if we look closely at the basket, the weave of the basket makes these nice horizontal lines that again create pattern. The colors that are yo oops, used also create pattern. The feathers in a row. So not only do the colors create patterns, but the shapes and lines create patterns too. You can find patterns in all kinds of artwork. And you can even find patterns in your house. For example, I was walking around my house today and I picked up a pair of my reading glasses. From the front, there's some glasses, but if you look on the side, there is a repeating pattern going on in these glasses. My hat is another example that we've talked about of pattern. I found a few other household items. Oops, excuse me. My mask has repeating pattern of dots and circles and swirly lines. Looking in my house, I also found a floral pattern on my plate, a repeating pattern of flowers. Looking around at another plate I have in my house, I have a repeating pattern of striped lines surrounded by zigzag lines. I even went to my garbage bag box and look, there is a pattern on the box. This angle, this cur curved line that meets at a point, not really a curve, but a vertical and a horizontal line creating an angle, created a pattern. Another thing I have, which I'm sure you have, a blanket. This blanket shows pattern, actually, one of my teacher friends, Mrs. Ashby, who I used to teach with, made this for me. She crocheted it and it created a beautiful pattern. You could see not only did she create pattern with the colors, but also the kind of stitching she used so that we would have a tight stitch and a loose stitch, a tight stitch and a loose stitch separated by colors that were also done to create pattern. You can find pattern even in only one color. If I look at my flower pot, a cross hatch pattern was created in my cactus plant pot and it's all the same, but the texture that you can feel, we talked about texture and 
the repeating of the lines created a pattern. Today, you are going to have a choice of three different activities. They are all in the link on materials needed, so you can choose between going on a pattern hunt in your house to look for these different patterns and check off each one as you go, or very similarly, it's the same pattern hunt, but as you find each one, you get to color it in instead of checking it off. Or if you're really up for the challenge, find three patterns in your house and try to copy them using your crayons or colored pencils to create pattern. The pattern that you found on that towel or hat or chair, sofas are another great way. If you look behind me, you can even see the pillows on my couch have pattern. Pattern is everywhere. And then down here, you can make up your two own patterns. So you are going to choose one of the three activities. It's your choice. And then when you are finished, go to the assignment link and let me see your fantastic patterns. Have a great day, guys.